So the chalkboard was not uh, my idea or my dad's idea, um, but we heard about it. So we were like, okay, let's build a chalkboard because um, we thought it would be fun. And uh, so we did build a chalkboard and um, we write uh, questions on the chalkboard like uh, once a week. Um, and we just leave chalk out there. Um, and we get some really interesting responses. Um, and I, I just think it's a really cool way to, I guess, connect with the community a little and also just see how everyone's feeling about it, uh, about, you know, the pandemic and just, that's a little positive thing to, to connect the neighborhood and, you know, anyone can come and write on it. So I think it's fun. School of Rock is back, sadly not on the beloved stage, but instead with a great outdoor performance last Thursday on the 27th from their talented grad school musicians. How are you? How are you doing? I'm all right. I am in my uh, second year college at uh, Ohio State University doing all right they uh they let us back on campus but they have a lot of protocols going on to try and keep everybody safe our numbers are pretty low I don't know how long it'll last but you know it's all right so far most of my classes are online and I'm just just trying to uh breeze through it I guess so what's been uh What's been easy and what's been hard about uh, college so far? I'd say just trying to, because it's my second year, I know what life was like my first year. So I was just trying to adjust to like a lot of things that were taken away from me, like being able to hang out with the people I used to hang out with or certain events at school or certain parties and just being able to like the, the culture and the vibe around campus has sort of diminished a bit because just people in general aren't as happy. So I guess it's been sort of hard, but I mean, it's been easier is like not having to actually like physically wake up uh, super early to get ready to go to class or having to walk everywhere to go to class, which some people miss it. I miss it sometimes, but it, I guess it's a sort of an advantage to have a lot of classes online. Um, something a lot of people want to know is how did uh, being in America to me affect you? Um, I'd say it impacted a lot of my life um getting involved in it getting involved in it from the start you know I didn't really know you know how it was gonna go down how it was gonna turn out but it was interesting the whole filming process being at school it seems like it's it's been so long it's it's crazy that it's actually been five years but um that process went pretty well um the waiting period and then it was amazing when it was uh premiering and I was able to go you know across the country um, from like uh, Atlanta to Salt Lake City to talk about the documentary and you know it really <laughs> it I think it brought about a lot of conversation in Oak Park in the community and at the school which is really good and it impacted me because it helped me get into the college I wanted to get into that's what I talked about for my uh, my paper to get in there so it's it's right it's done a lot a, you got a full ride to Ohio State right Yep, for the um, Moral Scholarship Program, which is all about uh, diversity and inclusion. So I talked about uh, my involvement in the documentary. Um, what do you remember most about OPRF? What do I remember most? What do I remember most? I'd say one thing that I really, I'd say I definitely miss from OP would definitely be the football games just the culture around that because it's just in the in the fall season you know it's like you're really you're some people are upset having to start classes and things like that but I think something that always brings you know even outside of the school it just brings the Oak Park community together are those football games where you have the students and then the uh, parents and teachers uh, all sort of like on both sides and sort of mixed in and just you know on a Friday night you invite your friends to come meet you at the football game and that was always great um, and just how how we sort of were proud of that and we embraced that uh, part of our athletic department.
Is there any advice you would give for any uh, outgoing seniors that are going to college? Any advice for them? I'd say, especially with the times that we're dealing with right now, I'd say you're going to have to be very open to being flexible about your situation. You know, a lot of people are not going to be in their most desired situations if, if God forbid, we're still sort of in the same situation a year from now and we're a lot of uh, freshmen in a year are going to be going into this sort of similar situation. I'd say it's definitely about being flexible um, and just sort of just adapting to your environment and taking that in because I would say outside of the pandemic when it was my first year coming and that was one of the things that really helped me that not not trying to have a whole bunch of ideas or um, expectations about college and sort of just walking into it with an open mind and just being able to be flexible about it's not like you're going to meet all the friends you're going to have in the first week. Um, you're not going to be able to get adjusted to everything within the first week or two. You know, it's really just about, you know, whatever college that you chose to go to, being able to adapt to the environment. I'm, I'm guessing you're already, most people are happy with the college they chose to go to and they haven't, they know some information about it before they go there um, or the community college or working from uh, online school, whatever it is. But I definitely say it's, it's a different world out there. People, people, it's, it's definitely a switch. It's one of the most, um, the biggest uh, switches in your life is uh, one of them has to be going from high school to college. So it's, you definitely just, just take your time with it and uh, adjust when necessary. If your Chromebook is broken or lost, you can go to the technological help desk beside the main entrance of the school once you have walked in. But before we go into the physical aspect of getting a Chromebook, here is an on-screen tutorial of how you can retrieve a Chromebook within two days. Go to the OPR FHS website. Click on the website. Once on home screen, go to Students, and then click on Student Technology Support. Scroll down and click on Student Help Desk. Then from there, you can click on Submit Student Help Ticket. Once you've done that, you're going to have to go through the process of having to write down your email address, subject, and description of what happened. Priority and department are optional. Submit it, and then prove that you're not a robot. After you officially submit your student help ticket, expect an email from the department soon. The email will be provided with a date and time for when you should come in as well as a ticket submission code. Go to the box office desk aka the student technology support desk which will be located aside from the main entrance once you have walked in. Provide the code to the support and from there depending on your situation you should end up getting a Chromebook. And obviously before you walk in please make sure you follow safety precautions amid COVID-19.